This video has been prepared to explain how a select Terex tower crane is climbed up and down and the procedures followed. Here we have a CTL 260 18 tonne crane being climbed up in central London and tied to the building structure. Prior to the day of the climb, select will attend site and extend the mast power cable. Where possible, the climbing frame will be pre-installed and thoroughly examined before the climb. Prior to starting work, the team will be briefed and make themselves familiar with the method statement and risk assessment. A full exclusion zone will be established and monitored by site, and all vehicles will be banked into position. Prior to offloading, the vehicles will be fitted with edge protection. The tower sections are offloaded, lifted onto site and turned upright. Special brackets are used which allow the bolts to be installed on the ground but hold them up so that when the section is lifted into place it can be slid in on the climbing frame without the bolts catching. To save time on the day of erection the ties are pre-assembled in our yard to have dimensions provided by site in an as-built survey. The climbing frame is inspected the rollers adjusted and the frame climbed up and connected to the P-beams on the underside of the stowing ring assembly. The first mass section is lifted up and placed into position on the climbing frame tray. You can see the bolt brackets in position. A weight is picked up and placed at a predetermined radius in order to balance the upper part of the crane. The slew brakes are applied, the crane is isolated and the crane driver climbs down from the upper part of the crane. The bolts connecting the mast to the slewing ring assembly are loosened and the balance checked. The bolts are then removed and the climb commences. The process is constantly checked. The climb continues until there is space for the section to slide in. The bolts connecting the mast to the slewing ring assembly are refitted. The bolt brackets are removed so the bolts drop into place and all the bolts are torqued up. In this instance the climbing frame tray had to be removed in order to fit the collar and ties. The collar is lifted and suspended on pre-fitted brackets on the mat. The second half of the collar is installed and bolted to make a full collar. The ties are lifted and fitted to pre-installed brackets on the building. The climbing frame is refitted and the climb recommences. At the end of the climb, the climbing frame is disconnected and lowered. The crane is tested, thoroughly examined and can then return to work. Here we have the climb down of the Select Terex CTT 361 20-ton flat top in central London. The climbing frame was pre-installed and thoroughly examined in advance. Firstly, the frame is climbed up to the slew ring and bolted to the P-beams. The predetermined weight is lifted and set to the crane's balance radius. The crane's slew brakes are applied and the crane isolated. The crane driver then climbs down below the climbing frame. The master slew ring assembly bolts are loosened, the balance checked, the bolts removed and the climb commences. 
In this instance, the first section is only three meters long, so the crane has to climb past it in order to remove the section. The short section is lighter than a standard section, so we'll use the balance weight again in order to make sure we have the correct balance of the crane. The climb continues. The standard section is now used as the balance weight, which helps speed the process up. A cantilever lifting beam is used to remove the tie legs and the collar. When it has climbed down low enough, it is dismantled as usual using a mobile crane. Thank you for watching. Please check out our website for other useful resources.